Hey guys, Savage Warrior here bringing you some Boom Beach and today we're going to bring you some Gearheart Live unboosted and let's see how our girls can do. So let's go right into the game here and uh, notice that my statues right here are all lined up pretty in two rows and we are going to go unboosted today. And so let's get over and find Gearheart. I think she's usually up here in this corner. There's a little crate right there. Let's get some diamonds. And here we go, Gear Heart. Three attacks, and this is my first attempt. And so we have the space right here, and let's take out these <coughs> boom mines right here. Hopefully we can get lucky and get as many as we can. Now the challenging thing here is about laying down that smoke just right and not too high off the beach, and you cannot mess around. And get those girls up there, right up there above the boom cannon and lay down the smoke right there let's wait for our girls to get up there to gather and then we're going to move them up right here under these lasers and hopefully we can get up there without any losses because you really need that damage per second so let's move our screen down and prepare to do our shocks about right now and hit that right there have enough for a boom Pretty much that's all we can do. We can sit and wait and see how we can do. Uh, looks like we got pretty good damage and we got it right there on our first try. So um, right now let's go over to a replay and we can evaluate that one more time and uh, cool. Happy with that. You know, I only lost 39 guys and I expected more losses, but I had just upgraded my Zookas to level 21 and I was unboosted and I didn't expect to be able to take it down so easily. Um, but let's take a look at the replay and figure out how we did this because there's a little tricky move here at the end I want to share. First off, you have to be able to land with two smokes because you want as much gunboat energy because once you get up there, we're going to have to do four shocks. If you land these smokes too tight together, you're going to get hit on both sides by the shock launcher and the laser is also on the left right there. This second, uh, third smoke and flare is real easy to do and lay down a fourth smoke and a fifth right up there before we're uh, ready to attack the base. But the trick here is knowing in advance your shocking points and we're going to lay down four on right on that flamethrower, the rocket launchers, around those rocket launchers on top and off to the right. But right here I flare and then I shock in and the tricky part about that is you got to be able to hit them um, before you shock the Zookas. So taking it into slow motion I'm going to prep my flare to the HQ, hit it right now and shock immediately on the flamethrower and the shock launcher and my Zookas will walk into the base without being shocked. Again a full speed, let's watch this one more time and that's how you do it. Hey, before I forget, I want to give a big shout out to Death Squad for allowing me to shoot some of my videos and a huge shout out to Boot Tramp who's been very helpful to me. Anyway, keep on watching guys and I'll see you later. Savage Warrior out.